from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Alongside Joe Stapleton, we are at Rivers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, the setting of the first Jack Reacher movie. You think I'm a hero? I'm not a hero. I'm a drifter with nothing to lose. I mean to beat you to death and drink your blood from a boot. Everyone else is gonna do it. The day gets started with Everyone's this buy-in amount from the different players at the table. Elio Lezro with $8,600. I bet you that came from a blackjack hand that he won and he walked right over to the table. Yeah, that's a weird amount. There's definitely a story behind that. <laughs> Brandon Cantu buys in for 5,000. He's gonna start out as our short stack. Let's play some poker here at Rivers in Pittsburgh. No, we're different. You're different. I am different. Oh, aren't different people the worst? I treat them badly because they make me uncomfortable about myself. Blinds are 25 and 50. You're tonight on Poker Night in America. Straddle is on. Kyle Bowker is not a poker player. He is an unstoppable rebel force made of hair and cheesesteak. It looks like his aces are only gonna get action from the straddle, who calls his raise to 400. King nine suited. And I mean, Kyle Bowker is a total fish, and I never really thought he was very good. 600 is the bet from Bowker, and so now Imicus deciding what we should do with this. Well, Kyle is gonna lose some more money here. The only question is how much? We're now at the 1900. Imicus, a local player here from Rivers in Pittsburgh, surrounded by a bunch of professionals from all over the country. But that doesn't mean Stapes, he doesn't have the skills to get the job done. He certainly has the skill of outflopping aces. What? Seriously, it's not a tournament. You don't have to save your image. It's gonna be by the end of the day anyway. Kyle Bowker doesn't need image. He just correctly folded aces on a king high flop to a single raise. Straddle on again, this time it's Sean Deeb making the blind raise. Speaking of lighting money on fire, hi Sean. Bowker with four deuce of diamonds this time. Elia Lezra calls. Where you been, Elia Lezra? All right, three players in for 400 each. Oh my goodness, Brandon Cantu got old. He looks like he's playing the dad version of himself in a movie. Flop is eight, queen four, couple of spades on the board. Falker pairs is four, bets it. Elie Lezra with the flush draw. And one over to the board with the ace. And he's got some back to our straights. We'll call that as well. Todd, you living in Vegas or Montana now? Both. Mm, Both. Vegas and Montana. It's a good yin and yang, isn't it? Big sky country and big lie country. <laughs> no morning. Well, Elezra improves, but not to the hand he wants. Ships it in and gets another fold from Bowker. And in the right direction. <laughs> he found his fish. I mean, I was very disappointed in myself for losing. All right, there's a drawing out on the gaming floor. We I'm talking about those, screen. you remember me, you lazy mouse, Marco Jones, playing the 3624 with him all the time. I play 3 6 every day. And then yeah. we kick it up to 4 8, and we all take a uh, piece of him yeah. so you could play because he was a 3 6 player. Uh, that cool story just made my short list for Cool Story Bro of 2017 at the Cool Story Bro Awards being held this yeah. February. We definitely had him. A raise to 1,000 from Sean Deeb. Brunson folds, yeah. Bowker folds, Alezra calls. Take, take your time, you mean, right? You got aces? Hello, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a fun hand. That sounded like live audio from your last date. <laughs> Well, look at this flop. Uh, a couple of clubs on board. Deeb is way ahead because he also has the straight possibility. I'm all in. Call. Didn't take long. I do have aces. I got clubs. Huh? 
club. That's bad for you. Uh oh. <laughs> if you're at home wow. being like, how many clubs are in this deck? It's 13, you dingus. Thank you. Thanks. Way to root for me. A lesser dead on the turn. <laughs> Sean Deeb is going to scoop up his first big pot of the night. Twelve thousand four hundred and fifty bucks. So Elia Lezra gets coolered and to pour a little salt in the wound, he gets consoled by Brandon Cantu. Ooh, baby, cooler, console, cantu I'm yours. Welcome back to Rivers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ah, Pittsburgh, home of Carnegie Mellon's Robotics Center, launched in 1979, so thank you in advance for the machine apocalypse. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, that's why Todd was rooting for a club for you, or paint for you. <laughs> His, you just saw his face. He was so mad when he saw paint. And it was like, <laughs> Three of these seven players actually took a shower today. Uh, we'll let you guess which is which. It might be high, because one of the uh, straps was high. Take your shoes off. Please don't. Imicus makes it 300 with Queen Jack suited. Deeb is in, Brunson folds. Kyle Bowker puts in another bet with Ace Queen. Scott Immick is dominated. Good fold. Roughly, how much you playing? 16, 16, 17. Um, purples are fine. Give it to them all in chartreuse, please. And I think it's safe to say these two players with Sean Deeb and Kyle Bowker have had bigger swings on this show than any other players that have ever sat at our table. They both do traditionally very well in this game. The unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Plop is nine high. Seriously, try to change Sean Deeb's mind on anything. You can't. Bowker continuing his pre-flop aggression. This board is supposed to hit Sean more often, and he has flopped a gut shot. And a call from Deeb. I'd be very surprised if Deeb doesn't make some sort of move here on the turn. And that move is to an up and down draw. Well, that improves. Bowker knows the four of clubs isn't a stellar card for him. Well, he also picks up the wheel draw there on the turn, so life isn't terrible for Kyle Bowker right now, but let's see if Deeb decides to bet. He's checking, he wants to give Sean a chance to bluff or semi-bluff at this. If he bet, he could potentially face a raise all in. And here comes that bet from Deeb, it's 2,400. Yeah. Now just over eight grand in the pot. Oh boy. Bowker correctly identifies that ace high is the best hand. Over 10K in the pot, here's the river. It's a king of spades. Deeb is so rarely gonna have a king in this spot. And doesn't even try to rep it. <laughs> Seven high, Sean, my God, that's such a bad hand. Straddle is on, Kyle Bowker, betting 100 dark. He'll be last to act before the flop. Action on Kane Callis. His dad is someone famous, I forget. Harry Callis, the late voice of the Philadelphia Phillies and also NFL Films. I had a Harry Callis. How'd I get it lasered? Stop. Ace King versus Ace Queen and just a call from Kyle Bowker. Like, do not even bother playing against Kyle Bowker on this show. He will come over to your house, sit in your kitchen, wait for you to wake up and make it, then he will walk over to your refrigerator and eat your lunch. Well, the price to see the turn has just went up to 900 for King Callis. He's in such a bad spot. Hey, how are you? Top pair, very good kicker, yet somehow outkicked. 
Seven on the turn. Hey, Brandon, we're still playing over here. And the bad spot for Kane Callis continues. Now you're just stuck with top pair second kicker. I mean, you have no other hope. You're just stuck right now. Yeah, I don't see how he doesn't lose at least another 2K. He can't make this lay down. He's not Kyle Bowker. Another 2K fired into the abyss. That is Kyle Bowker's chip stack. He needs a queen on the river. Doesn't find it. There's still seven stacks. He's talking about the six stacks, which is still, we'll still show the hands if it's an interesting hand. Bowker's one last chance to go for value. Three full streets. Oh, the painful call. Pipped. Poor Kane Callis. You know, I sure hope his middle name isn't Carl. Rivers in Pittsburgh with Joe Stapleton. It's Chris Hansen. Back with some new episodes that are actually old episodes that were taped a while ago. But yeah, it's the magic of TV. It all works. People are watching this on YouTube. They have no idea what's new at all. <laughs> Action is folded around to Brandon Cantu. He was my roommate for a few years in Vegas, but he never really came around when I played live. I Before think you the, met your the wife. The regular Coke yeah. makes you fatter, but the diet kills, kills you faster. Yeah. yeah. That fake sugar Yeah. Funny people think we're exaggerating. We're 24 <laughs> yeah. a day, but it's not. 24 a day, it's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Pretty literally. Imicus flops trips. Okay. Special creature, that guy. He made me feel healthy living with him. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's gotta be interesting. Then he'd go to the doctor and they'd be like, you're good. <laughs> I, I don't know what There's he did. A call? Get, like, <laughs> more prescriptions and like, you know, the okay. Well, you, you're gonna be all right until you get cancer. Oh, and unlike a package from the Postal Service, Cantu gets there. That's unfair, by the way. It costs like a dollar. Yeah, I mean, still, it's much better than Pony Express. Can we just <laughs> agree on that? Yes. One of my favorites. All right, so Imicus is uh, sitting on trip nines. Cantu just made his straight. A birthday present. No, no, no. Imicus checks. Can to bet on the flop, and he looks like he's doing that again here on the turn. With his credit card. Okay, that's not nearly as bad as the story I thought. I thought he bought himself a pot sized bet of 700. But Nimicus has to know this is potentially a bad board for him, but also he has trips. I think it was. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I think it was his dad's birthday. I think you. Do you think that's worse? I think it's worse, yeah. I mean, he's like, whatever. You he's think it's worse like, to, to buy a gift for your dad on your dad's credit card? Or buy a gift for yourself buy a on gift your dad? For yourself, for your, your dad's, dad's, credit on your dad's credit card. Obviously, without permission on either one. He didn't have permission. What would your dad do if you did that? He didn't have permission in either way. Well, yeah, I know. We know that. <laughs> I just didn't do <laughs> like that. It wouldn't be no. <laughs> He'd be disowned real quick. Like it was, this wasn't desert. when he was young. He, this was like two years ago. He's <laughs> he, like 33. He's mid 30s. <laughs> His parents came home from like a vacation. He was at their house and they like walked in and he was like sitting <laughs> in a hot tub at, at their house that he had like, he bought on his dad's credit card, had delivered. He's like sitting in the hot tub with a scotch. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> Did he have his little iPad case? <laughs> I'm sure. Water provided. We're, we're like in the backyard? Yeah. 21, 25 in the middle. Cantu over bets the pot with this bet of 2,300. Oh, you might actually know him through Frank Casella possibly. Frank and Ali's dad are really good friends, and he was around. But was he Frank. playing poker in Vegas? He was. Yeah. Vegas call. just calls. There were some other full houses out there. Eight on the river wins him a sixty-seven hundred dollar pot. Okay. Didn't even consider right, raising. Well, Brandon Cantu sees the bad news, which unfortunately is all news all the time now. That's that's fake news, like landing on the moon. If you just raised preflop, you might have won that hand. I like to make the pots bigger. Slower. Yes, bigger, slower, like Hodor. Todd Brunson straddling this hand. Blinds are still 25 and 50 as they are every night here on Poker Night in America. Straddle, raise, call, call. We're filling up the screen with player names. 
Aw. I was gonna lay three to one that he's gonna play the next hand. <laughs> like me, we're all the same. <laughs> so you lose a big pot. I wonder boom. if he takes it as a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Flop is Deuce King Jack with a couple of hearts. Hoochie Mama, top pair versus two pair versus a straight and flush draw. There was a smaller Dude, car crash in the Blues dollars. Brothers. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Nobody slow roll. How do you not slow roll? I was shaking the trap. Uh, I don't have it yet. Do you have ace queen hearts or queen ten hearts? <laughs> oh, because you got them both covered. Can you throw that away, Ellie? Just to... Yeah, I okay. can. But he's only ten. Actually. King ten. What else can I have? Oh, baby. He's got the. Of course, Bowker gets there. Gets the Kyle. Bowker, chicka, wow, wowker. All right. Good game, guys. Stay right in seat. Yep. Back at it quickly here with Kyle Bowker in the straddle, Elia Lezra. Coming in with nines, kings for Kane Callis. All right, we're up to eight. We need two more. Two more names. 170 phone answer. Now up to 1,100. Uh, my friend wanted me to put him down for that satellite. His name is Hugh. Hugh Jass. You know, I love it every time we are here in Pittsburgh, they do these cold deck hands to get into the main event of the tournament where everyone just piles in the money and then they just deal out one hand and see who wins. Fun times in Pittsburgh again. Fantastic. It's gonna be small though, right? I mean, the last few times they've had it, it was like three, four, like 50K, right? Like 80 last time. It's a dangerous flop for nines. I think yesterday they got 30 players. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, then way smaller than before. There's a lot of competition going on this week. The last, the last few times, it was like 150 each day. Oh my God, KK's Kane Callis' initials. I just now realized that. Yeah, the flyer said 1K. Callis bets 525. Alezra's got an overpair to the board, so he is unlikely to fold. Only you don't have to commit. Yeah. All in and a call. Yeah, you have to commit or yeah, you don't. Yeah, I, Elliot in so bad shape I again. So. I think that you don't have to commit at all. Yeah, I think that he's got people in the lineup, but if they play the tournament, he'll finally replace them. It's usually easy. It to is go. over dead oh, on the game. turn. <laughs> See Ellie. Back to back hands where Ellie Lezra gets cleaned out. Ellie, let's go. Ace King for Todd Brunson. Yes, thank you. Jeremy, Caleb. Yes, thank you. Jimmy. Looks like Bowker's interested. Jimmy in the room. Well, Bowker ain't getting the Todd father to fold, but I'm sure it'll just come all diamonds or sevens. <laughs> oh. Sevens and then runner, runner, ace. No, um, got 38 and. Finds just enough chips to make that call. So 4,500 in the pot as we go to the flop. Brunson hits the king. Zero help for Bowker. Yeah, no pair, no draw, but he is gonna bet it. I think it's safe to say Bowker's been fairly active uh, tonight. So if Todd has been picking up on that. I mean, he's shown an ace high for a winner. He's shown that he's been playing all kinds of different hands. There's no chance Todd's folding. He calls. All right, field low players. All right, so Bowker now gets a little bit of help. I mean, that's amazing. He goes from no pair, no draw, to a straight flush draw. And it goes from regular bluffing to semi-bluffing. Kyle's going to have to continue improving on the river, though, because Todd is never folding top top here. Oh, and what the what? Kyle Bowker, are you Can't serious? It's not actually a bluff. Huh? It's not really a bluff, but kind of. He's kind of having a good day. Everything is coming up, Bowker. It was a good time for it, yeah. George Carlin must be spinning in his grave right now. I'm getting really sick of guys named Todd.
Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where we just watched Todd Brunson make a pretty, pretty nitty fold. And despite that, he is one of the two winners tonight. Now, the other winner, of course, the shocker, Kyle Bowker. Safe to say it wasn't a good day to be sitting in the middle of the table because Elia Lezer and Brandon Cantu both got emptied and pretty much all that money stapes went directly to Kyle Bowker. If you ask me, the real losers are the people of Pittsburgh. Good night, everybody. Why does anyone even agree to play Kyle Bowker? Yeah, why do you pay for Tinder? Tune in next time for more poker in Pittsburgh. And if you want more Poker Night in America, we now have a brand new free social poker app you can download and have your very own poker night with your friends. It's been updated to also include Omaha, plus some lucky player will win a seat on our show. So download that today for Apple or Android. It's totally free. Also, be sure to follow our social media accounts, including YouTube and Twitch, where you can see full episodes, live streams, and find out where we will be for upcoming Poker Night in Americas. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for watching. Almost show. Huh? That would have been the, yeah, that would have, that, that would have been, I would have threw up a few shoves. I didn't expect the shove, so. Really? I wasn't gonna call, I was gonna shove or fold. Yeah. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mizcal and Sit and Go 2.0.